Welcome back. In this lesson we're going to take you the steps to select your stock and select your chuck jaws. This is, if you recall, the print in the Haas lathe manual. Our part is four inches long and two inches in diameter. These are important to keep those in mind and we'll notice that in just a second. So let's go ahead and change over to master cam. Okay, here is our geometry. First thing we're going to do, we're going to hit fit. Fit and then we're going to unzoom 50%. Make sure when you're doing this that the show grid, so there it shows where your zero is, show grid is clicked. Next we're going to click on tool paths. Now you have three different choices, files, tool settings, and stock setup. We're going to set up the stock first. So we'll click on stock setup and this window appears. Uh, there next to stock, you click on the properties tab. What we have here right now there in this drop down menu there's no geometry, solid entity, block, cylinder, extrude or evolve. We want to click on cylinder. So we'll click on cylinder and this image appears. Uh, remember our part is two inches in diameter and the length of it because I want to give myself enough room to fit my parting tool I'm going to extend that length from four inches to 4.25 z-axis and now I'm going to click on use margins on the OD margin uh, I think I want to just leave that for right now we'll leave that at zero right margin I wanted it to be at 0 0.05 so 50 thousandths at the front of the part we're going to face off before we start turning our part and the left margin we're going to leave that alone at this point. Keep in mind the axis is in Z negative so this is your zero point. It'll create a part. Everything behind to the left of zero is the part. So we've set everything there. Let's say OK. And then we'll click on the Chuck Jaws properties we have several chuck jaws to choose from. You'll see the images ID, OD. We want this first one, OD number one. This is what we'll be using for this one. And there you see our numbers got transferred over 4.25 and 2. So we want to click from stock and we want to grip on that maximum diameter. So click on that one. So everything looks good there. So let's go ahead and click OK. Then make sure your display options, you're clicked on the left stock, left chuck. We have clicked on, make sure it's fit screen to boundaries. Just make sure that everything that you've done so far will fit in the screen. So we're going to OK out of there. And we're going to hit fit. There you see the chuck jaws, you see your part, your four inches long, your quarter inch between the face of your chuck jaws and the rear of your part and the two inches that we said we were going to grip onto. Next we're going to sit on, hit on tool settings and we want to pick our material. So you have files, tool settings, stock setup. On here you have files, tool settings, stock setup. So we're going to set on tool settings. Now at the bottom we're looking for materials. On this page we want to click on it, make sure two things are clicked on, assign tools numbers sequentially and to warn of duplicate tool numbers. Um, so let's go ahead and click on this material. We'll select this. For this part um, if we didn't see the material we wanted to use here, you could click on the source, look on the lathe library, you have a 
quite a selection of material to choose from plastic steel titanium wood copper we're gonna click on aluminum 6061 so we'll click on that we'll have it in inches we want to show it all in inches for this particular part so we're going to OK out of that the other thing we want to make sure we check here two things program number let's set that at one so it's already at one and sequence so for your G codes it'll start with your line numbers of zero and it will add them sequentially increments of two so start at one increments of two we have our material set so we're going to okay out of this one now it does a little dance there to make sure everything's done we're going to go ahead and close out of this we'll hit fit again uh, everything looks good that takes care of everything on this lesson as always if you have any questions uh, see me in class and I will see you soon